Hi everyone, so um, here's a bit of a tour of my, um, I guess, downstairs gaming den or man cave or whatever. Um, I put a post up on the Facebook page before just asking if anyone would be interested in seeing it. I usually put up some pictures here and there if people um, put up a show us your setup kind of type post, but um, always keen to take part in those, but thought I would... Uh, also put up a video just to give, um, I guess, a full uh, tour of the room and put everything in perspective and just um, give a bit of a rundown on what's in here. So basically, um, yeah, I guess what we're looking at now is the main part of the room where all the, uh, I guess, most of the gaming happens. Uh, I'll do a quick, I guess, sweep. I will go around the room and kind of try and focus in on some bits and explain some bits and pieces. Um, couple of disclaimers first. Uh, I'm only filming this on my Note 5, so the lighting might be pretty bad and it might focus or this and that. Um, and also I may get sidetracked. I may start talking about something else without finishing what I was talking about before. If I do that or if you see something that I've missed, um, that you want more information on or whatever, just just um, make a note in the comments uh, and I'll address it there. So, obviously I'll start panning around. So that's obviously, I guess, the southern end of the room. Um, if we go around, we can kind of get an idea of the rest of the room. It's actually... Um, it's, a, it's a converted garage. It was downstairs, upstairs... Um, is obviously the main house and down here was just a garage when we bought the place um, and I'm not much of a uh, mechanic or guy that mucks around on cars or whatnot so I figured I'd probably put it to better use um, and turn it into a bit of a rumpus man cave den kind of thing so that's a really quick pan of the room I guess so I'll go back over here and start working my way around. So basically, um, that's just a Gran Turismo poster, which I thought was cool, so I got that put on the wall. Um, here is basically the console central. Um, there's a bunch of old consoles, which I thought would be pretty cool to just have on display. A lot of consoles from my childhood. Um, I was a bit of a Nintendo fan, that's why I have a lot of those kind of consoles. Um, I don't have them all hooked up at the moment because I couldn't figure out a way that it would look tidy to have all those cables, but all the cables I've got for them upstairs. Um, and if I want to play it, then I um, I just go grab them and I can hook it up and play whatever. Like I've got a couple of games for, for each of the systems. Um, so obviously we've got a Game Boy and a Game Boy Color. The NES, Super Nintendo, N64, GameCube down there. Uh, on that side, we'll skip over and do these other consoles and I'll come back. So then there's basically the Xbox and PlayStation column here, I guess. Um, PS1, PS2, PS3, Xbox, and Xbox 360. They're the original shapes. Um, obviously, they were redone in some form. Uh, they've changed the manufacturing, made them smaller, quieter, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I wanted the original shapes. Um, I thought that would look better for the kind of display that I've got. Um, and then I guess the... So that's the old stuff. The new stuff here is obviously you've got the Xbox One, PS4. Uh, there's a Wii U down there. And that's a 3D Blu-ray player there just hooked up. Because um, I do sit here and watch some movies every now and then if I get the time. Um, the stand that I got there was just one from Harvey Norman. Uh, that TV is a 55 inch Samsung Series 8 um, at the time which is probably now two and a half years ago that was the best TV that you could get in that size um, it's not it, it's um it's probably as big as I'd want it for this space because I just sit there um, it's enough to when you sit there fill your whole kind of um, field of vision so it feels just right um the, what can i tell you about the consoles basically of all these i mostly play uh the xbox um play a bit of destiny um 
well not so much anymore but did um then probably the wii u because i've got a couple of little boys and they like playing mario and that's fun to play ps4 is honestly just there really so i've got kind of the set um i don't I've only got one game for it, Killzone, and I've never played it. I just got it because I kind of needed it to have the bunch. Um, there's the I've got an Elite controller too, which is really nice, but I'll talk about that more afterwards. The amp is a Yamaha amp. Um, it's just a 5.1 amp. It's the RXV475. You probably can't make that out. Um, and just a kind of mid-range 3D Blu-ray player. So that's nice just to sit here um, in the recliner and chill out. Um, it's pretty comfy. Um, the speakers, the speaker set that I've got that run off all of that is a set of Klipsch Synergy 3s. Um, they're about three years old now. Um, but as far as the room goes, I mean, they're, they're pretty... Pretty significant speakers and pretty powerful. It fills the room pretty well. Um, it, it probably would be more on the side of a little bit too much, but um, I, I, I like it. They, they're actually the latest addition to the room. I had all this other stuff and thought I was lacking some good sound. Um, I did watch movies and stuff down here, but uh, I didn't really have any proper sound gear. So... Um, was lucky enough to find those so added them in and um so now you can actually i've got some like watch some movies and have some good sound good kind of you know cinema grade sound kind of deal um over here that's where the subs are i don't know how well you can see that's obviously the klipsch um sub 12 they've got two models there's a 10 inch model and a 12 inch model that's the 12 um that you happen to be with this um speaker set um, that sub beside it is the Logitech Z906 sub, and that's not a small sub in itself, but sitting next to that Klipsch one, it dwarfs it completely. Um, there's a bit of a knock on the side of the sub there, um, during transport it got a bit of a knock, but it hasn't affected it or anything, but it gives you an idea on the size and power difference, um, between a proper, what I'd call a real sub, versus kind of a, a, a bit of a play sub. It's focusing there a little bit. Um, then here, pretend you didn't see all that under there. I haven't figured out a way to fix that up yet. I move all this stuff around a lot and it's a pain to have it neatly done and then to have to undo it, so I kind of just hide it. Um, what have we got here? There's oh, the seat. I'll move that out of the way. That's just an AK Racing. Um, I forget what model that is. Um, they're a lot like the DX Racer uh, seats. Pretty comfy for a long-term kind of sitting. I had one before uh, that was just an office works kind of one, but after about 10 months, all the padding sort of collapsed and it was just uncomfortable. So I spent the money on that. There, I'm pretty happy with it. It's, I mean, it was 350 bucks or something like that, but I think it's worth it. Um, the PC here, there's, there's a lot of detail here that I'll probably miss. So feel free to ask. The case is a uh, Corsair 750D. Um, the peripherals, that's a Rockhat Kony XTD mouse. I've tried a bunch of different mice. Um, I, uh, I keep coming back to that one though. I don't know what it is. Um, I just think that's probably the best mouse for me. Um, the keyboard's just a, a Corsair K70. It's not an RGB one, it's just a, a red because it suits the rest of the theme. Um, there's the two uh, Z906, um, I guess, speakers. I haven't got them running. I haven't got all the five. It's a 5.1 set, but I haven't bothered to really get them all hooked up. I just run them in 2.1 um, stereo. I think that's fine enough for, for gaming. Um, modem control. Uh, the screen is the uh, Acer Predator XB1 or the XB271HU. So it's the newest version of the... Um, 27 inch predator monitor it's not coming up very well because this phone doesn't do light and dark very well um but it's 2560 by 1440 165 hertz ips g-sync all that kind of stuff um i'll give you a look at inside the case i'll take that panel off in a sec it's probably a little dusty in there but we'll see what we can see 
So in here, obviously it's uh, water cooled. Um, there's a uh, Maxima 7 Hero motherboard there. There's a 4690K running at 5.1 gigahertz under there. Um, 16 gig of uh, what is it? HyperX Savage RAM, 2400 megahertz. Um, that's a 980 Ti. I could be cheeky and say it's a Titan X, but it's not. It's a 980 Ti. The reason that it says Titan X there is um, EK just uh, the EK, obviously the block manufacturer. They don't have a separate one for the 980 Ti. They just say use the Titan X one. It fits. So um, that's what that is. Um, Underneath there, there's an ASUS Zone RSTX sound card. Um, AX1200i power supply. That cable set is a cable mod set of cables. I got rid of the set of cables that came with it um, from Corsair in favour of the cable mod cables because they're much nicer and easier to work with. Um, it's got a 512 gig solid state drive in there. Um, obviously got a big radiator in the top there, I think it's a 45 by 360 um, there's a 60 by 280 I think it is, I'm testing my memory in the front there obviously I, I did all that loop myself, that was probably two and a half years ago now I think I rebuilt this whole computer not long ago um, and luckily enough all the new parts I put in there the um, tubing was pretty much right so I could use I, I took it all out and I could fit it back in there no problem. Um, just some minor changes. I did go from two cards. I had two 780s water cooled to one 980 Ti. So there was a second card there. So it did make that run a bit longer. Um, but soon I'll chuck another 980 Ti in there to even it out a bit. Um, there's no optical drive. In this, obviously, there's not really much need for it anymore. Plus, it makes this case look really dumb if you put one in there. Um, it's The case is very wide, much wider than a CD drive would be. And when you take this cover off and put a CD drive in there, it just looks stupid. So um, I've got an external DVD drive to use if I need to. Um, that's probably covered that. Um, so we'll move away from there. As we go, that's just, that's a little poster. I build PCs as a bit of a, um, side venture kind of thing. So I just got a little thing made up and that's down here. Um, that's the box for the monitor, obviously. This is kind of a bit of a, just a display corner, I guess. There's a bunch of boxes and stuff there. We had that display shelf, uh, under the house for ages and didn't use it. And I thought it would be really cool to... Uh, just, I don't know, make a bit of a display, pull some good looking boxes out and just put on there or make something just to even out that corner of the room. Before that was there, it was just a big open space. So I figured I'd um, just make something of it. So basically, um, there's a bunch of graphics card boxes up there. Um, 980 Ti, a couple of 7As, they're my old boxes. Um, that one there is from a client of mine. Um, Dan Young, I think he's a member on the page here. Um, I've kept his box for display, which he was happy to let me have. That's my card with the stock cooler. Obviously, I had to pull that off to water cool it. Uh, but I've just got that sitting next. It looks cool. Often, people will think that's a proper full-on 980 Ti just sitting there. But sadly, I'm not that well off. I could just have a full card sitting there. A um, couple of 970 boxes, power supply box. A couple of mugs that I got made up for my business just because I could. Um, what else have we got here? I'm a bit of a Halo fan, so um, I've got a bit of a Halo shrine there. Um, not sure how old a lot of you guys are that have watched this, but um, when I was growing up, GoldenEye 007 on the N64 was pretty huge to me. I loved it. That was probably one of the games that turned me into a gamer. Um, so I've just got, that's got its own little space. I need to put something else in there. I don't know what, but Something to even that out a bit. That's just a little watch I got off eBay, which I thought was really cool. Um, there's a Zelda shrine, I guess. Um, there as well, we've got a uh, Pip-Boy, that's a PC version. 
um, Fallout 4 Pip-Boy edition. There's a Fallout anthology. I put a post up about that um, a few weeks back too. Decided to have a look in that one day. There was nothing in there. That's a whole other story. But we chased down the contents of that, and that was happy days. We got that sorted. Um, that's the box to the Xbox One Elite controller, which is pretty awesome. Um, I didn't really buy that because I'm a bit Xbox gamer. Um, I bought it because you can use it on PC as well, and I, I love it. It's it's an excellent controller. Um, here's some of the mice that I've got. Um, the Death Adder Chroma is in there. I've never opened that, never used it. Um, 502, the Logitech one was really good. Um, I've got an old G500 there from 2008 that's never been opened and it probably won't ever be opened. It'll probably just sit there. Um, but I've got a bit of a thing for mice. That's probably really weird, but... Um, I do like to chop and change and try different things, but I always find uh, that I'm going back to that. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, a few other boxes. That's just the water block boxes for the CPU and graphics card. That's the headset that I use um, when I'm playing on Xbox X07 Pro. That's actually over here. I missed that. That's just sitting there. Um, on an eBay headphone stand, whenever I need it. Um, let me go back over here. The reason I got that one, um, you can get the XO7, but uh, it, it has some differences. The little adapter that you get isn't as good, and it doesn't have mic monitoring, it doesn't have a bunch of different functions. Um, I had to get that from America because they've only, when I bought it, uh, they didn't have them here. Um, they were just, you could only get the X07 kind of vanilla version, so I had to get that from Amazon US. Um, but it ended up being cheaper landed here than the regular X07 was here locally, so it made sense to do that. Um, that's the box for the cables I've got in the PC, the cable mod red and black ones. Uh, Fallout 4 stuff. And then a few motherboard boxes down here, just because they've got some pretty cool designs. That's obviously the one that's in mine. Um, couple of uh, different motherboards from some old client builds. That's the sound card box, obviously the STX uh, Zona sound card. That's just a bunch of CPUs. Um, most of them there's nothing in, but I had a bunch of them I thought it would be cool just to make a bit of a tower, the Tower of Power, as I call it, um, for you Intel fans. So that's, that's that area of the room, I guess. If we turn around, there's... We'll look at it from here. So over in this side, there's basically, um, this is kind of just, I guess, the chill out area. Um, there's another 55 inch TV there. That's the Samsung Series 7. It's uh, still a, it's almost like that one. That's a Series 8, that's a Series 7. So it lacks some features, but it's still a good TV for down here. Um, we've got just some uh, weight bench and whatnot. Um, some posters, plenty of posters and things on the walls in the room just to make it more gamey. Uh, excuse me. Um, there's a mini bar fridge there, which I'm not a drinker, so you drinkers out there will probably find this pretty boring. There's just a bunch of energy drinks and stuff in there. Um, I've only just turned that on. I don't often have that on down here because most of the time I'm not down here, sadly. Um, a couple of old cans and some supplements and whatnot. A um, couple of Pokemon canvases that I got done up just to remind me of my childhood when I was a kid. I was super into that. Um, well, I thought they looked pretty cool in the bar. Um, there's another, there's a Fallout 4 poster in behind there. Uh, more posters. There's a couple of bar stools and a couple of little 8-bit um, guns which I saw at like a $2 shop. Um, I thought that would look really cool on the wall there. Um, just to make it a little bit more gamey. Um, and then there's just really just a couch big enough to sit there and chill out and watch some TV while, you know, we game or whatever um, with a bunch of stuff to read. There's some PC magazines, um, World Records Gamers Edition and some old PlayStation magazines from 99, which is really fun to have a look back through some of that um, just to see how far we've come. There's... That's pretty well. That's pretty well it. That's pretty well the room. Um, like I said, I I've got two boys and a wife, so I don't get to spend a lot of time down here. But when I do, it's fun and it's kind of um, 
a bit of a hobby, a um, bit of an escape. Uh, I'll have like kind of game days or lands usually once a month and we basically just turn this couch into a big long uh, bench seat and run a bunch of computers down here. We can fit six or seven down there if we squeeze them in and there's usually a bunch of consoles over on this side all hooked up, extra TVs there and over here and down there and someone sitting over there. So it's a good room just to chill out and have some mates over and uh, have a bit of a gaming session but I hope that's given you a bit of a tour of the room and a bit of an understanding what's here. Um, but feel free to ask any questions if I've missed something or like I said at the start, if you've seen something that I've skipped over or stopped talking about halfway through or whatever, just um, put a comment down there and I'll, uh, I'll do my best to address it or give you the info that you're after. All right, I know it's been long, it's 20, almost 21 minutes. I didn't think it would take that long, but uh, thanks for sticking it out if you have, and um, let me know if you've got any questions. Cheers. Bye.